The human life is a short venture. It starts when we are brought into this world with care and love. It ends with not a ban, but the gradual dimming of the light we call life. An infant brings with him the innocence from the realm of creation. It brings within a strength to survive, a power to develop and learn. The inception of a life is a very happy occasion for us all. A life that hasn't even opened its eyes to the light of this world. And yet we seem to know that it has all the potential in the world. It starts to grow the very moment it is born. It grows from an infant to a toddler. During this time that he has spent in this world, he has learned. He starts making those sounds that please us. He, from being a helpless crier, has now learned to hold his head straight up and walk on all fours. The miracle of life never ceases to amaze, even in its most childlike form. After some time, the toddler has learned to walk on his hind legs. He has straightened his back and no longer needs to tend to the nourishment from his mother. He now stands tall. He has learned to speak in a much more fluent way. He is learning the ways of the world. Soon he is sent to learn from those who teach. He learns of the world around him. He learns about the phenomena of this universe. He returns home to question and startle his parents with wild ideas and enthusiasm that only a child can bear. He keeps growing, and so does his knowledge. The questions keep growing and he keeps learning. The knowledge that this world has to offer is too much for a single mind to possess. However, the child is starting to lose his innocence. He is not a child anymore. Now he learns in the depth the essence of his life. Now he questions more often, but the questions that he asks, no one has a proper answer to them. There is no single answer to his question. Most of his queries are answered in many different ways. He is confused. He thinks and he thinks. After some time and after some thought, he chooses the correct answer for himself. He learns to build an opinion but also keep a broader perspective. A lot of time has passed since he was a mere infant. He now knows the cruelty of life, if not fully but still is aware of it though. He finds a passion, a way in which he would like to contribute to the society. He works hard to develop his skills and takes pride in his craft. He soon completes his formal education and goes on to achieve big with his craft in his hand. His success and growth as a human being is appreciated by those who have watched him grow. He now understands the way of life better than he ever did. Our little infant has come so far. He has grown, he has learned, and he has acquired, but most of all, he has succeeded. A man in his early twenties seems like he was a child just yesterday. The boy soon finds love. He is blessed with a child much like himself, filled with potential, carrying the family's good name with him and expectations of his parents. He now grows in a much similar way to his father. The father too hasn't stopped growing. He still is learning. He still is learning to become a better human. Every day he learns a bit, only to live his tomorrow a bit better than his yesterday. He is responsible for the welfare of his family. 
of putting bread and butter on the table and protecting them from all that could harm them. He is a bit tired, but he is proud. He is proud when his children grow and learn, when his family sits together to eat. Sore muscles, but a happy soul. He gives them all he had, and they respond with all they have. The man is now getting old. In time, he drops the tools and the sun takes over. The man realized this in his early days, the power that mortality had granted him. In an immortal shell, he would have never tried to make his life better in any way. But in this shell, this humane body that eventually withers away, he has learned to appreciate it and work towards living not in the body but in the memory of those he has made happy forever. The infant is now an old man, a man who has learned, who has grown, who has loved, who has provided and now he leaves this world, a beyond from which no one returns. Yet he leaves with contentment and joy. Life can be divided into stages. Innocence, quest, realization and lastly submission. So, don't live just to die or your life will be easily forgotten. Live a life full of purpose and you will never be forgotten.